Hey everybody, it's your boy Z-Man, welcome me back to part 31 of our Pokemon Black Let's Play. In the last parts, we beat Bianca in yet another rival battle, and then we really didn't do anything else. Interesting. However, in this part, we are going to try to make it through Route 6 in order to meet Clay over at Charstone Cave, like he asked us to two parts ago, and we didn't listen to him because he couldn't beat us in a Pokemon battle. But... You know what, might as well get started on that right now. We're here on Route 6. Let's get moving. Uh, just a quick little note, Luna did grow to level 29 and learned the move Nightmare, mostly because I fought a few of the trainers on this route already. For example, that guy, I've already fought him. Why did I talk to him? It doesn't make any sense at all. But, just right here on Route 6, uh, there's quite a few items you can get, but a lot of them would require the move Surf, which we don't have yet. Like that item down there on the bottom left. We can't get to that yet. We don't have the move Surf yet. I do have my dousing machine out, and of course we're gonna get into a little awesome. We are we actually ran into the f a new Pokemon on this route. This is Deerling. Um, it's just a straight up grass type Pokemon, if I remember correctly. It's it has like four different forms depending on which season you're in. Right now we're in the winter season, so that's what it looks like in the winter season. But it also has a spring season, and a fall season, and a summer season. <coughs> but there is something really cool that you can do with these Pokemon if you want to catch them, which I'm going to do right now. I might as well catch one of these now. Let's throw... I'm going to throw out a Heal Ball. Why? Because I feel like it. Because it's pink, and that's what the Deerling should be held in, a pink Pokeball. Makes sense, right? And we did it, we caught the Deerling. Deerling aren't that hard to catch, that's the cool thing about it. But there's four different types of Deerling, four different forms of Deerling. They're all pretty much the same, but you know what, whatever. But you find those 35% of the time here in Route 6. Um, other Pokemon that you can find include uh, Tranquil, 15% of the time, but that's only in Spring, Summer, and Autumn. You can also find Swadloon. No, I do not want to give a nickname to my caught Deerling. You also find Swad Swadloon 10% of the time here. Uh, Vanillite is here 15% of the time, but only in the winter. It takes the place of Tranquil in the winter. Uh, Deerling, the different forms depending on seasons. Carablast can be found 15% of the time. And Fungus, which is going to get on our nerves very soon. You can find him 15% of the time. I hate that Pokemon so much. I'm pretty sure we're going to run, in, run into it somewhere. But this lady I have not fought yet. Mostly because she's going to give us an item after we beat her. So let's go ahead and do that. Using our amazing connection, I will teach you all about Rangers. Pokemon Rangers, not the cool Rangers like Forest. Well, Forest Rangers aren't really yeah, kind of cool, but... Power Rangers. There's no Power Rangers in this game. We could use some Power Rangers. But our first Pokemon is Emolga, level 27. So we're just going to throw out some Luna action, mostly because she's the most underleveled of this entire team. And of course she uses Double Team, which is going to make this battle that much harder. I hate Double Team so much, I'm not going to lie. Just because it's she, this thing is going to avoid our attack so much because she's going to spam it. And her accuracy is going to raise to like the maximum by now. Emolga is already really fast and really evasive, and now she's just getting even more evasive by using like two or three different double teams. I sh what, what do I want to use? Let's throw it on a Zen headbutt. But yeah, I took a little, I took a like little hiatus, as I'm sure you guys knew, and I really wish this ranger would stop using double team. Jeez. Yeah, I took a little hiatus from uh, let's playing for a little bit and used double team. This is the fourth time it's used double team. It's going to be the single most annoying battle ever. Seriously, man. At least we hit with the Zen headbutt. But again, took a little... Oh, we got paralyzed. That's not cool. I forgot about Emolga's static. Not like it matters, because now Emolga's also paralyzed thanks to Synchronize. Yay. But for the fourth time, I'm going to try to say this. I took a little break from Let's Playing, a little hiatus for three days. And that was mostly because... I went home over the weekend, uh, I needed to grab some stuff for my job training today, which is, yeah, my job training is going to be tonight, so I'm going to start my new job soon. Um, it was, it was hilarious, because I came back to my dorm room on Sunday, and 
I just show up and there's a bunch of people there. I'm like, oh, today's move-in day. People are moving into our dorms today, so I've got two new roommates hanging out, hanging out in their dorm, uh, hanging out in the dorm right now. It's pretty, pretty cool. If we can get off this side beam and actually hit for actually and beat this Amolga, finally, awesome. Well, that was a much harder battle than we needed it to be. We almost screwed a level 30, and she has another Pokemon, so we're gonna switch to to Deerling. Let's throw out Mac. I don't want to have to deal with types and all that stuff because Wart is going to be ineffective and Grass is a, and uh, Cav is going to be ineffective. Dude, it's Grass type nature. But she has her level 27 Deerling out there. Just throw it on a Fire Punch and we're going to absolutely destroy this thing. But it was great over the weekend. Um, on Friday, I got to work a 16 hour shift at the ballpark that I work at because we had a Selena Gomez concert. Yes, I had to prepare the baseball park for Selena Gomez to come in. It was really, really cool. I got a clean I had to clean her toilet and she really should have thanked me for that because that thing was nasty. It was like one of the players' toilets, so it had a nice little ring of feces around it. It was it it wasn't very fun. But after you defeat this Pokemon Ranger, she's going to give you a Cherry Berry. And I believe... I cannot remember what the Cherry Berry does. But um, it's one of those berries that will either... should help you... It should take away some status-inducing thing. I think... Oh, we don't have to fight... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, I thought we had to fight that guy, which is why I didn't fight him yet. But... He caught us, so we might as well show this fight. It's with another scientist. And the scientists in this region, the only things they really have are Deerling. And you'll see why very soon, if we go farther up this route, we can defeat this Deerling in time. And of course, we've got a paralyzed, very weak Luna out there, so I'm going to go ahead and switch Pokemon to Mac again. Luna's just in bad shape. Paralyzed and very, very weak. Whatever, we'll let Mac take some of this experience. He's gonna use an X attack this time. Interesting. Not, be, not gonna be very effective. It was great, because on Friday, I was just... I remember I had to work security for like five hours trying to keep all of her fans away from the uh, dressing rooms. So that was a lot of fun. And then during the concert itself, I was supposed to be like clearing the stairways of anything that goes wrong, and Luna grew to level 30. I was supposed to be clearing the stairways so that people could get up and down them. Well, me and another guy, we just basically walked around the edge of the ballpark. Didn't do anything, we just sat there and watched the concert. Except for we were just walked around the ballpark watching the concert every once in a while. It was really, really fun, and we have a hidden item there. No, over here. Where at? Where's this item? Oh, it's up there. That is so not cool. Okay, so hidden item is up there past the... past that stream. So we can't get to it yet, I don't think. But if we come over here, we do get a hyper, hyper potion, which is very cool. Um, yeah, we can't get to that item. But there's a strange little house right here. I wonder what it could be. This is the Season Research Lab. These guys are very interested in a certain type of Pokemon that has a... Um, I, don't want, I don't want to read all this. Why are you still talking to me? Many Deerling studies. So first, please capture a Deerling. Then, when its appearance changes, could you bring it back to the lab? Um... If you don't mind, would you please show us what Deerling looks like now? Yeah, sure. There's Deerling. Honestly, they couldn't go out and f capture their own Deerling. I'm pretty sure they all have their own Deerlings. Yes, I have a winter Deerling. So uh, he basically said, we're trying to research all the four seasons of the Deerling because it's really weird that they change with the seasons. And he wants us to show him all four types of, all four uh, forms of Deerling including winter, spring, summer, fall, and I take one step in. One step, and we run into a Vanillite, which we've fought before, so I'm gonna cut this battle. 
Alright, so like I said, he wants us to show him the four seasons of Deerling, and if you come down here, you're going to get an elixir. Very nice item to have. Um, if you do show him all four seasons of Deerling, he's going to give you a Leaf Stone, which is a pretty cool item to have, especially if you need to evolve one of your Pokemon. And this is a new Pokemon here. This is Carablast. It is a uh, just a Bug-type Pokemon. In all honesty, I don't find this Pokemon very appealing, I guess. Uh, mostly because the only way it evolves is if you trade it for a specific po Pokemon. And if you trade that Pokemon with somebody else, it's both of them evolve, but honestly, I don't really find the point of that. Mostly because I don't really... I don't trade all that much with other people, so... I'm not going to get a Care Blast. I don't think I ever will. Unless I'm trying to do like a catch all the Pokemon, catch them all run. But I'm definitely not planning on doing that anytime soon. So this Care Blast decides it wants to beat Luna. So we're going to send out Wart. Hopefully to take it down. It would be very nice if we could beat this Care Blast very easily. Muddy Water ought to do the trick, right? Giant tidal wave of... What muddy water should defeat a little bug, but no, he survived somehow with enough to do a worthless little attack that didn't do anything, which is really cool. So, do what you always do with warts you bubble it. And we've defeated Carablast, we're gonna get some experience. Honestly, I just don't like Carablast that much. I know there's plenty of I took two steps, no, oh, no, vanillaite, you stupid Pokemon. God, those are annoying. But, uh, yeah, Carablast, don't really feel like trying to get it. Not very beneficial to me, and I took one step too far. You don't actually have to fight this scientist, but we'll show it again, because the only Pokemon she does have is Deerling, I still believe. that I'm pretty sure that all the scientists on this route just have Deerlings, because that's what they research. And they couldn't figure out from their own dearling why they change, which is why we have to show it to them. I don't get that. But anyway, this is a grass-type Pokemon, so it's really not a good idea for me to have Wart out here. He's going to use an X-Speed, which is going to help out her help out her side. I'm just going to use Uproar, honestly, because I'm not going to be able to beat this dearling unless I use something normal. And of course it would use a Leech Seed. Oh, that's going to be very annoying, unless this uproar can do some extra damage here. Nope, not quite. But this is just going to keep leeching some life away from us on every turn. And he uses a faint attack. I mean, honestly, you're a grass-type Pokemon. Use a grass-type attack that isn't Leech Seed, and you're pretty good to go. But it does get a critical hit, which is a pretty good thing to have. We defeated Deerling. We defeated the scientist. I'm pretty sure. I don't think any of these scientists have more than one Pokemon was so preoccupied with the mechanisms of the battle that I wasn't paying attention. I don't even know what she said, but whatever. We got some money for beating her. Always a good thing to know. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And of course, this one also requires Surf to get this item, hidden item that I'm going after. Okay, so now we want to work our way over here. And we've come to a very, very annoying thing in this game. Just like in Generation 1, where if you clicked on a Pokeball and it turned out to be an, uh... What's the ball Pokemon? The... I can't remember what they are, but the red and white ball Pokemon that are electric types. Instead, this one turns out to be a Fungus, which is a poison grass type Pokemon. This thing is annoying as crap, I swear to God. Especially the evolved form of this Pokemon, it's like... I, I don't even know how to explain it, it's just really annoying. Especially, the evolved form has like some sort of extra special defense or defense or something, but it takes you forever to beat. It's like trying to beat an Audino, except for Audino isn't much of a threat to most all of your Pokemon, whereas Fungus is going to beat some of your Pokemon, just like Wart here. Falls to this thing or whatever, I don't even... It's a freaking mushroom with little nubs for hands. And it just happens to be in the shape of a Pokeball. Happens to be in the same colors and shape as a Pokeball. I hate this Pokemon so much. We'll just take it take it down with a slam. 
get to have some experience from it. That's the stupid thing, because these are such annoying Pokemon, and they don't even do anything for your experience anyway. So, you know what, I'm coming up on time. Might as well just cut this part off right here. Thank you very much for watching part 31 of this Let's Play. Be sure to like the part and uh, leave a comment saying what you thought. And then subscribe to my channel, Zman4491. So I will see you guys in the next part.